Larry, this is also a follow-up video number one to Blessed Assurance that we talked about the other day. Uh, we're in the key of D major. D, F sharp, and A. And we started out and we were talking about filling in some gaps and creating some, um, some things that we can include in that long space. Um, Blessed Assurance. Jesus is mine, oh what a foretaste of glory divine. So right there on divine, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think we talked about tenths. Um, so we would take um, the A chord that is written in the vocal parts for the hymnal, A, C sharp, and E, and so we would just use A in the very left hand pinky. C sharp and a tenth. And where do I get ten from? This is how. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, so it's an octave plus three, eight, nine, ten. So in Glory Divine, we can just walk that up from A and C sharp up to B natural and D natural. Another half step up to C, and you can call it D sharp since we're in sharps in the key of D. So C and D sharp, and then move up again. C sharp in the pinky, and E natural in the right hand. So back to tenths. So A and C sharp. A and C sharp, B natural, D natural, C, D sharp, C sharp, E natural. Oh, what a, oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, glory divine. Salvation, purchase of God, born of His Spirit, washed in His blood. And I think this is where we kind of put that little trumpet sound in as the pickup to the chorus. Spirit washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. I'm raising my Up an octave. I know it's off the screen, but this is Is right there, Savior. 
that D natural, D sharp, D natural, D natural, D sharp, E natural. Praising my sin. Notice those two notes echo and mirror each other in the octave. Praising my sin. Try that, let me know how it goes.